Okay, so um, this is the park that I've been told for something like 15 years I'm not allowed to go to with everything from Fox News, uh, bringing helicopters here, like 14 of them at once, uh, you name it. Um, actually, I'll get to that in a second. First, I'm going to document. Okay, so first we have two white similar SUVs, a Kia and a another car. Uh, we have a Fusion here, no plates. Um, I'm gonna come back a second time and do it again. Uh, two white pickups together right here. This is Woodland Hills, California. Um, this has been done to me since I moved here 17 years ago or 18, well, actually 20 years ago. Um, we have people coming out right now in red and black. Actually, that guy's like a lawnmower, whatever. Um, okay, so right here, um, I did this last night, but there's more. Um, okay. We have two gray Corollas together right here. We have two Honda Accords together right here. Um, we have... Two, a, pick up, a white pickup here and two together right here. We have two black Honda Accords right here together. Um, we have two Jeep Cherokees right here together. We have Uh, a car, no plates. You've now seen the no plates tactic. There's about maybe four cars with no plates here. Um, okay, so what you've just seen is like being struck, struck by lightning like five times in a year. Can't happen, right? Um, you probably... Um, you probably know, um, you probably have never heard of one person being struck by lightning once. You got three cars backwards over there across from the park. Um, two cars backwards here together. Okay. Now we'll come around this side, but I want to let this car pass. Um, okay. Uh, these two red cars over here together intentionally, right? Um, we have a guy in a Jeep which is leaving probably um, since they like to use Jeep Cherokees. Um, we have two cars with no plates and both keys plates together, right? Um, cars coming up behind me. Okay, so this car right here... Uh, keys plates right and then as close as possible a second car keys plates right um, we now have a Porsche Cheyenne no plates A Jeep Cherokee here, so a second Jeep. Um, I did this car last night. He has front Roadrunner plates, but he actually has rear plates, showing that um, he intentionally put a plate. He wanted to keep his plates, but he intentionally put a Roadrunner plate to hint about uh, me and having Time Warner Roadrunner internet service and cable um, as they're violating my privacy, trying to send me hidden messages. Uh, the street's getting crowded, so I hope um, I hope I can do this. Um, okay, so we have the two SUVs that are different cars, but they look similar, 
right? So they wanted cars that looked similar. Uh, we have another car, no plates here, a Fusion. Um, we have the two white pickups together. Um, oh, two BMWs. I missed these ones. BMW. BMW. Um, the other day I showed you the groups of Audis spread. Here's an Audi. Um, this guy's getting in two Corollas right here that I did before. The two Corollas. The Accord, the guy that's getting into their Accord. Um, and the girl in yellow and black with the second Accord right there. Um, The three white pickups, but two together. Um, the two black Accords right here. The, oh wait, are there three? No, two. Oh, three, there's three of them. Two Jeep Cherokees together. And there were three, I think, of those. What I can't even remember what they were, but. Uh, the car without the plate. And um, two white, similar looking cars. They're different cars, but you can see how they wanted to get the two cars together that look the same, look the same right? Um, now, you're going to say that's completely, what are the chances? How does that randomly happen by itself, right? Oh, and then we have the park here. Um, the three cars together backwards, across over here, and over there, there's two cars um, backwards together too, right? And if you want to sort of look at it, you got a Bob Smith car coming out, no plate, um, showing that they've all taken out their plates citywide, probably even possibly US-wide, uh, directed at me to create mental illness. Um, now. Why are they doing it at the park? Well, they're doing it everywhere, right? They're not just doing it at the park, but they're doing it more so um, wherever I am because they want to create mental illness and remove me from society. Why? Well, there's been no answer to that question. The only answer I've gotten was at 29. Um, your Horrible Monster by Mike Huntley and we're using the system against you. Yet, what are the crimes... Actually, I'll go down the street really quick. Um, what are the crimes? Well, the crimes are associated with Melody the Stripper that Mike Huntley introduced me to um, at 16. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Triple A. Triple A. Um, so, um, So 29, Mike Huntley, we're using the system against you. I've given you enough rope to hang yourself with. What is the crime? The crime is that 16, Mike Huntley uh, asked me if I wanted to bounce for his friend Melody the Stripper um, at a couple of bachelor parties, and there is no crime. So what's the crime? Who would care, right? Well, maybe my family, um, but that's not the type of thing anyone else could care less about. Um, and so um, if you take all the aspects of my life of imperfection or things someone doesn't like, which aren't crimes, um, you could apply that to the template, so to speak, and say, um, well, Kevin Perlman did all these things and he's defying us, right? And so we're going to hunt him and kill him with worldwide support. So the only thing I see on the street are the two red cars. Um, and a black Ultima, probably. 
um, like you saw last night with the Ultimas. Um, so, once again, why do these people care? I can't answer that. Uh, but what I can tell you is I started taking walks. My mother got mad that I was taking walks. Um, I've never heard of someone mad at you for going out and jogging, running, taking walks, um, going to the gym, uh, generally getting exercise um, is unheard of. Um, now this is the dog park. This is where the dog park was where my father trained Oppo did bit Jason, right? Um, and there's also the Warner Center uh, Plaza Medical Clinic where I've been harassed, just like everywhere else in the world. Um, and I'm going to quickly drive into this lot because I see two cars together with no plates on, right? Um, in their Patterns of Twos tactics. Um, so, um, well, obviously, you've seen this is done everywhere all across the United States and probably world now directed at me. Um, I can't tell you if the cars backwards are worldwide, but I can tell you that everyone I talk to um, harasses me and attacks me worldwide. Um, I can tell you if I went to Germany or Russia or Japan or whatever, they would start doing it there. Um, if they're not doing it, um, they probably aren't, but they would if I went there. Um, and... Um, Let's see. Uh, traffic. Ooh. Wait. Uh, but one, some of the things I can tell you they did to me at the park for taking walks. Uh, Fox News actually brought like 10 or 12 helicopters to the park and a ground crew trying to thug and intimidate me um, while Fox News hired Greg Gutfeld to stalk me um, and use his shows and the names of his shows um, to create mental illness and every night on like Red Eye for example um, they would take aspects of so here's two cars no plates um, at the Warner Medical Clinic here and dental group um, So here we go, two cars, no plates together, another pairs of twos. Um, so Fox News, I'm just going to drive up here. We also have this car parked backwards in this driveway, no plates, right? So um, I'm just going to drive up to Tierra Street where I was like four or five years old, where I threw the water and mud in the street after... Uh, playing in the street with like the water flowing down the street, whatever, making little mud castles. Maybe that's why my brother did his BBS, the Warriors Castle, and said I was doing all these things. Um, so Hannah Street here um, is where um, I guess I'm guessing his name was Justin. I'm not sure, but we used to play with our little Tonka trucks or whatever the hell down here. I don't really have much memory of that him visually. I just remember that this house right here with this discovery truck um, is the house I went to and he was there. Um, right around here is where we lived by where this, there's a green Jeep Cherokee. This might even be the house. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember it being that ugly. Um, most likely that Jeep Cherokee is there. Um, hinting about Tom Farley and Kelly Hatch sent after me to have me killed um, where basically I was uh, 22022 I'm not sure if that's it um, I was sitting because my father's office was 202 so um, I would have been let's just say this was the house I would have been sitting here by 2202 playing with the water running down this little gutter uh, a little pail with mud I think in it and water and I was building like a little mud thing I can't remember um, and then when I was done I threw the mud and water out in the street right and I didn't see the car coming as I threw it out in the street and so the mud and water hit the car 
and the guy stopped the car, like screamed like hey or whatever, um, and scared the shit out of me because you're talking about a four or five year old, right? I mean, a four or five year old can't comprehend much and he's in tunnel vision, right? And so I run in the house screaming and crying because I'm scared uh, and that's it. And now my family is trying to make this some kind of traumatic experience uh, why I hate women and I'm a troll and trying to get people to chase me um, things like this that they've fabricated out of their paranoid psychotic behaviors now around here I'm not sure which house there was a koi pond which I thought was really cool when I was a kid at that age and so um, so um, um that's pretty much it, right? Now, when I tell you this, you're probably like, so what? You're a kid and you threw water and mud in the street and it hit a car and so what, right? That's generally how most human beings react. Who cares? Um, but in my life, my family will hunt me down for my entire life uh, for things that don't matter. Um, so... 2022, I'm guessing, is the house because my father um, got an office in Northridge, 202, hunting me down, trying to have me killed, right? Um, anyways, um, my point is that people don't generally say, I'm 46 years old, there's worldwide campaigns to kill me, troll me, as they say, set me up provoke me into reactions until they can lock me in jail mental institutions and generally people don't do that worldwide saying when you were four or five years old you trolled this car or whatever um, trying to get that guy to chase you is the stupidest thing known to man what kind of person says something like that that their kid um, is an evil devil child who threw mud and water on a car trying to cause accidents or get people to go after him so he could lock him away or whatever is the stupidest thing known to man. Um, but at that point, that's when my family started working on me with the mental illness tactics with the media. Uh, age five, the movie Wizards, uh, Shaggy DA, uh, age four, uh, English Sheepdog, I think, in that movie. And we had Maggie, the English Sheepdog, he lo my father locked in a cage for half its life in the backyard, which it could have been running around the backyard. Um, you get the idea, right? Uh, beyond any level of insane abuse of family, um, using their psychology degrees to hunt me, using their psychology degrees as weapons. Now, the point that, uh, that I was making about the park is that they're, like everything else, trying to turn the park around on me saying, this guy's a public nuisance and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And he's taking our pictures. Uh, he's taking pictures of our cars. Um, but you just saw the park. How would you not take pictures of those cars at the park or people coming out in clothing patterns um, if they're doing these things to you, right? In self-defense, you're going to document being hunted and being killed or stalked or whatever you want to call it. Uh, at one point, like I said, Fox News was even involved with Greg Gutfeld, which he used his show every single day for years to send me hidden messages in his show, and then all the other shows that he wrote, like The Five, and things like that were all sort of based, like the names were based out of things they accused me of, um, things like that. Um, anyways, uh, this guy that pulled up in the Prius probably saw me, maybe not, oh, well, it's an old lady, I can't tell you. Um, but anyways, you get the idea. Um, what you've seen at that park um, can't happen by itself, and it's directed at someone, and since I'm the only guy on the planet out of the loop, um, obviously it's directed at me, especially with all the other tactics and verbal mimics, uh, mimicking back my social network conversations or parts of my conversations from person to person worldwide. It's obviously directed at me. Uh, to make me look crazy, to try to make me look like a violent, paranoid schizo and remove me from society. Um, all linking back to this house on Tierra Street, which I guess my father and mother say is a crime um, of throwing water and mud in the street and not seeing a car driving and accidentally hitting the car 
with water and mud and the guy running out like hey what are you doing whatever I can't remember he got out angry which makes sense and I was scared shitless and ran in the house crying um, scared which you would do when a big tall five foot eight man comes out to a four-year-old right he's gonna be scared um, especially if you accidentally threw the water on the car um, coming from a family that basically says it's illegal to have fear well people have fear everyone has fear right on some level I don't care who you are I don't care if you're Superman you have some kind of fear um, anyways so I will leave this at that and go out and do what I need to do